Hello everybody, at the 8th NTSC, we are here to celebrate and imbibe the new skills in the teaching and learning of science. I am Sonia Kapoor and the title of the paper is Beehive, the role of different types of bees and this is the low cost portable teaching aid that I have made. Now, when we introduce the topic of beehive for the, for the first time to the young learners of the primary section, say who fall in the age group of 7 to 10, it is very difficult for them to visually discriminate that in this beehive there exists three different types of bees who greatly vary in their roles and sizes as well. So to overcome this obstacle, this teaching aid was made. It helps the students to visually discriminate between the three types of bees and it also helps them to visualize the movements and roles of different types of bees. For example, here different colors have been given for the young children so that they know different color means different types of bees. This is only for representational purpose. They see and they realize that okay, this is a queen bee, biggest bee with the role, the sole role of laying eggs. Male bee conspicuous by the big eyes, worker bee, the essence of the beehive. There are many worker bees in the beehive. No worker bees, no beehive. So there are many things that are being taught, that have been taught using this teaching aid. Uh, I'll enlist just a few. The worker bees take care of the beehive, they take care of the baby bees, they move from flower to flower in search of nectar. When they find a flower with nectar, they do a special dance. They are very selfless creatures. They do this dance to let the other bees know, come, here's a flower with nectar, let's collect the nectar, go back to the beehive and make honey. So this dance also varies, the different kinds of dances are shown and different um, things that happen in the beehive like super studio of the queen bee, colony, colony collapse disorder that is CCD, all that and much more is shown with the help of this beehive. beehive. Also the fluttering of the wings by the beehive which helps to regulate the temperature, all that is shown with the help of this teaching aid to the young learners. Now to quantify and understand the impact of this teaching aid, the methodology of research adopted was experimental and controlled group method. Two sections of class 4 were chosen, each with a class strength of 35. The model was used and two questionnaires were prepared. Questionnaire 1 was given to both the sections to gauge the previous level of their understanding, their previous knowledge to put it straight. Questionnaire 2 was given to 4x after teaching them through the conventional chalk and talk method and 4y got this after being taught with the help of this model. So the data was collected and tabulated and let us now look at the graphical interpretation, the graphical representation of this tabulated data. Uh, can we see the graphical representation now? Yes. So different, I adopted three methods. Now here I am directly comparing the uh, questionnaire two marks. See it, it, this red clearly shows this is uh, the performance of the students who were shown the model and the performance is found to be better and the most significant part is none of the students scored zero when they were taught using the beehive. Now here we are comparing the pre-test marks that is blue color and the post-test marks for 4x, there is an increase after being taught by the conventional uh, chalk and talk method. But when the model was used, uh, the pretest marks, from the pretest marks, there is a big leap in the performance of the students after the beehive was showed. Also, mean was calculated. Next, please. Median and then mode was also calculated. And now, in the next slide, we have consolidated the data. And in all the three, for all media, mean, median, mode, all the three were found to be higher when the model of beehive was used and this graph gives a better picture of what about what we are talking when the model was used the performance of the students was much much better as shown in the graph here the blue is the performance of the students who were just taught by the conventional method so the conclusion that can be drawn is that the model helped in better understanding and it increased the curiosity of the students also. They, they drew these pictures, they asked about the career options available in the field, they themselves came forward, touched the model, moved the bees, 
drew their own inferences and uh, in a way it was fun for them and also learning by doing. They could also appreciate the economic contribution done by the bees. They gave us honey and honey is used to make so, so, so many other things. So they could appreciate and acknowledge that. Also they could, in their own simple way, they could acknowledge that it's not just honey that we get. There are many, many more things that bees give us. One third of the food items actually that we eat are given by the honey bees. So if honey bees perish, one third of the food items that we eat will just vanish. So they could appreciate the ecological contribution and when the movement of the bees was shown to them like how they go from flower to flower and how unknowingly they end up doing pollination that also they could appreciate. Also when uh, this topic is taught I try to stress upon two very important attributes that is discipline and division of labor that is shown by these bees and hence the honey bees are able to maintain such a complex structure of beehive. I, because values are caught and never taught, I try to communicate that see if you have discipline, you too can manage complex things, you too can do big things but discipline is a very important attribute, very important quality worth imbibing. Also I talk about CCD, colony collapse disorder. Uh, I don't go into much detail next please, it is just to sensitize them towards environmental needs that too can be shown with the help of this model, I do it for the children. So CCD is also brought to their attention so that they know something that uh, environment needs attention. We should do something about the honeybees. They are in peril to some extent. The scope for future work using this model, various topics can be used, uh, various topics can be explained, similar models can be made to explain water cycle or life cycles of animals. Acknowledgement I think is the next. A big thank you to RIE Bhopal, MVP, NCTSC and my school authorities for their stalwart support. Thank you so much. References followed by Aniksha and a big thank you.